The human genome is often imagined as a book in which all the necessary information to build a human is written down. If we would open this book, we would not see readable words, but an endless row of letters, A, T, C, and G, the alphabet of our DNA. We can further imagine that if a page is broken or damaged, these letters cannot be read anymore and the necessary information is lost. In this analogy, each page is a single gene, and we can imagine well that if a gene is damaged and its information lost, it can lead to devastating diseases. Our project is to create a device that will be able to detect these damages so that the risk of future development of a disease will be known early enough to take measures to alleviate or prevent its outbreak. There are already methods existing to check for genetic diseases, like PCR or whole genome sequencing, but they require a lot of money and time and advanced technology, which makes them unavailable to most of humanity. Our method will be to use this little guy to circumvent these problems. He is called Cas9 and is carrying a guide RNA with him, which basically tells him which page of the book he's supposed to check. So. Depending on which guide RNA we hand over to him, we can search for any page or any gene of interest. First, we take a sample containing human cells, a swab of the inside of the mouth, and add lysis buffer to crack open the cells. Into this solution, a special paper will be dipped that will bind the genetic material from the sample. This is the DNA, which can then be transferred to another solution carrying our little friend Cas9. However, we will not be alone in there, but will be bound to a so-called reporter protein, which is able to turn a colorless substrate into a colorful product. Together, they form what is called a fusion protein. The paper with DNA bound to it will then be transferred to a solution with the fusion protein, and if the gene that we are looking for is present, Cas9 will bind to it. When the paper is then transferred to a solution with the colorless reporter substrate, the presence of the reporter protein will cause a color to slowly develop, telling us that the gene we wanted to test for is present as well. With this little paper strip, genetic testing will be cheap and available to everybody, without the need for special technology or even electricity. If you could test for any gene you want, what would you want to know about yourself? Let us know. Write us an email or contact us via one of our social media accounts.